Assalamu alaikum and good evening everyone. This is um, iTechno8 Shuja Imran. Welcome to this new video. This is part two in the multi-engine series. So in this flight, after doing the first um, initial startup taxi and takeoff as in the previous video, which you can see using the link over here, what we'll be doing in this video is we'll be basically doing a demonstration of how a single engine can control and affect the controllability of an aircraft. So basically, as I mentioned before, the main purpose of this multi-engine training is to teach the pilot how to control that aircraft if an engine failure occurs. So people uh, don't understand the importance of the fact that if one engine indeed does fail on this aircraft, you have an asymmetric thrust. So you have one side of the aircraft, one engine producing a lot of thrust and one engine, which is obviously failed, producing zero thrust. That creates a huge controllability issue, which if the pilot does not know how to react to initially can cause adverse situations and the aircraft can go into a spiral dive if it is not controlled quickly. So what the initial purpose of this training is, is number one, to understand how the effect of a single engine occurs. Um, if there's more power, what does that affect with the rudder? How if there's less power, how does that affect? How can you get the most efficient climb or controllability of the aircraft, which is a method uh, called raise the dead, which means that the dead engine or the engine that is failed, you raise it by five degrees and you put the aircraft in five degree bank towards the live engine, which, uh, posts, which puts the aircraft in a side slip. Apart from that, in this demonstration, Demonstration, we'll be looking at the uh, VMCA, which is the minimum controllability speed of the aircraft. So what we basically do in that is we just use the rudders to keep the aircraft straight and see at what low speed do we run out of rudder authority and we can no longer control the aircraft using the rudder only. So these are some of the multi-engine practices that we do as a demonstration before uh, we fly. We actually do the multi-engine uh, asymmetric work which is in the circuit which will be the next video so i hope you enjoyed the video i've tried to add a bit of subtitles and a bit of information so that you find it more important and you find um, you understand what's actually going on but if you still have any questions you can ask me in the comment section below in the end of the video we'll be doing a um, simple check and uh, which is from the checklist actually at what to do if you do you indeed do encounter an engine failure during cruise and what actions you need to perform and how do you keep the aircraft straight and level with a single engine only. So that's that. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, be sure to leave the comments and feedback in the comment section below. Thank you. Oh, 75%. That's a beautiful affair, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you. 
Tango Max, yep. And that's Max now, do you? Yep. Okay, so that's about 74 again. Yep. Right, if I just raise the... If you keep it up, you can't do yeah, that. Don't relax. Yeah. Who said you could relax? <laughs> Okay, so we'll just keep yeah, it on heading north. Well, he's on race dead, five degrees. Yeah. Okay, so there's five degrees. When you run out of road of the authority then. 8336 is on November, contact tower 118, decimal 305, bye-bye now. Tower 118, we're not trying to keep the ball centred or anything. Yeah. Just keep it heading. Well, look at that. Yeah, well, that's his going 69, yeah. Yeah, 69, okay. Yeah. I have them. Okay. Let's come back round this way. Okay, I need to start to hit the gym again for the legs. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> oh yes. Big surprise. 74, 74, and we had 69.4. He's the dead. Right heading 060 degrees and 180 left, check to Alpha Romeo. Okay, so we'll try and maintain this heading then. Oh, not quite in a phase. So we did the opposite then. We'll have full power to the right engine. Okay. And zero power to the left engine. Yep. Okay, then we'll try and maintain this heading. Okay, so Alpha Romeo, one to three miles per second, descend to altitude 2,500 feet. Send us to 2,500 feet to the ground for us. In the wings level. There we go, Max. Yeah, about 73 again then. Yep. 74, okay. Okay, so. Okay, what we're going to do is introduce. 12%. Yep. Is it an engine? Now we'll try that one again. Right heading 125, clear down left, show me 15. Right heading 125, clear down left, show me 15. Thanks, come for earlier. Keep it straight yep. and level. Okay, so we'll put 
max power normally to the live engine. Yeah, okay, so we're getting lower, so left to right, well, master's on, keys on, master's on, battery, battery, yeah, here up, flap up, okay, oh, somebody's pulled it back, so we've got plenty of fuel, plenty of fuel in there, yeah. oh, okay, so, I bet you only need 85%, give it a straight and level, yeah. Yeah. so, confirm, my leg's doing nothing, yeah. right engine and parameters, Serby, right master. Off, yeah, touch roll. Right, alternator. Yeah. Right fuel, flick yeah. it across and down. Yeah? And okay, we'd say okay, well that's cool. Give ourselves 12%, and then we we'll start trimming it. For the line engine. Okay. Yeah, okay. And it's like, okay, is there a fire? No, no fire for so the right engine, so it'd be the cabin heat off. Okay. I'll do the latches and then let's give it May Day and we'll go into sidewalls, shall we? So, nothing drastic happens, yeah? Yep. Okay, so you have control then. Okay. You keep a strain level. Okay, yep. that's a 75%. So just keep me straight and level. Yep. Yeah, okay, I'm sure we're not going towards East Mid Zone too much. What I do is uh, into there, what's that? Oh, it's at 7,500 feet, that's fine. Okay, so we're going along. Yeah, nicely, no problem at all, chatting away. Yeah, now we get an engine problem. Okay, we'll do the other engine. Well, you did do that one, so I'll do the same engine. Yeah. I'll we'll just have an engine failure. Yeah. So initially, just control the airplane. Yeah, yeah. Control the airplane. Full power to the live engine. Full power to the live engine, so it's the left one. Maybe we would know that, but that's what we'd do. Yeah, full power. Yeah, so dead leg, dead right leg. Time to go dead, so that's... No, 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 no. So, we'll find out what's happening first. Yeah, what's happening, so the rotators are on, those masters are on, keys are in, like kicks on, gears up, wraps up. And yeah, so it looks good, we have plenty of fuel as well. So, yeah, so we can bring the power back to 85%, yeah. just to keep it level. That's it. Uh, yeah. Confirming, so confirmed right, right side off, engine master off, alternator off, fuel structure goes off, uh, and we turn towards light, yeah. Gear 12%. Uh, nothing critical. Yeah, yeah. no find them up. Uh, that's it, okay, we'll just bring it back. Okay. Oh, nice and easy then, yeah. Okay, so, what's it? Oh, that was it, that was a critical bit, that was it, okay. Critical speeds, slow speeds, okay, alright, so let's come around to the left and on turning it south. Have a good look, make sure there's nobody there. And just bring the power back to about 50%. Good afternoon, Vector Street to Nile, from the 